Surveillance video captures the moment a St. Anne police officer crashes into another car before ending up smashing into a telephone pole. Both the officer and the driver of the other car were taken to the hospital, but that crash has left a lot of people with more questions than answers. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Kay Quinn. Our Jasmine Payute has been following this story all day long. She's live in St. Anne with new information since her last report. Jasmine? Okay, hey, Mike, new information tonight. Prosecutors have charged a man who they say led officers on that late night chase. In the overall sequence of events, that pursuit is where another officer was headed when he crashed right here at this intersection behind me. Now we have a picture of that suspect. This is Antoine Huddy. The 27 year old is charged with assault and resisting arrest. Officers say he was in a stolen vehicle when they attempted to pull him over. After the officer stepped out of the car, they say that's when Huddy backed into the officer before driving away. That officer put a tracker on the car, but still called for backup. That's how we get to this crash caught on surveillance. A nearby officer responding to this call for backup sped down Addy Road and collided head on with a civilian vehicle. The officer's car ultimately crashes into a pole to avoid hitting another car near that intersection. Witnesses say these crashes happen far too often in St. Anne and they want all of these chases to end. We walk over there and I see that that light pole or whatever it is was snapped in half. The stop sign was down and there was a car smashed into it. And cops are always speeding down the street down here. So it's, I'm not surprised that it happened. I think it's unsafe. I don't think they should be speeding down the street. I don't think they should be doing, you know, pursuits. But let St. Anne tell it they'll uh, do the pursuit until the rubber fall off their wheels, which is not cool. I have children that be out here playing. I leave them here. They be out here. They walk across the street to the store. So what if that was one of my children, you know? As far as the two involved are doing, the officer and that civilian, the officer is in the hospital, scheduled to have surgery this afternoon. They say he has two broken legs. As far as that civilian, officers originally said he was okay, but friends and family tell us he is in serious condition. He has broken legs and a fractured spleen. Reporting live in St. Anne, Jasmine Payute, Five on Your Side.